thank you, Remark, for giving us this opportunity to present this uh, completed works. And thank you, all the audience who are able to see and watch this video. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. The title of my presentation is Metformin and Testosterone Replacement Therapy in Relation with Prostate, Colorectal, and Male Breast Cancer Among Older, White, and Black Men uh, Using the CIR Medicare 2007-2015 um, data. I have no information to disclose. The objectives of this uh, project was to investigate the independent and the joint association of metformin and testosterone therapy with hormone-associated cancers. And we define hormone-associated cancers with prostate, male breast, and colorectal cancer. We also uh, investigate whether these associations vary among white and black men. Let me provide or lay the foundation with, with this information. Recently, a meta-analysis of 11 uh, randomized control trials concluded that testosterone therapy did not increase the risk of prostate cancer. Also, some of the literature, they have shown that serum testosterone or total testosterone um, does not uh, reduce the risk of color, colorectal cancer and also male breast cancer. However, in general, the literature with testosterone and colorectal and male breast cancer is still unclear and undetermined. One thing that is important to note is that no study has uh, conducted a specific analysis on black uh, men or a men from any other racial and ethnic group. When we focus on metformin, uh, very similarly, a meta-analysis of 18 uh, prospective cohort studies did not show an association between metformin and prostate cancer. Now, a large retrospective uh, cohort study showed that metformin did not increase the risk of colorectal cancer, but the data or the studies with male breast cancer are very uh, limited and unclear. But once again, with, with metformin and hormone-associated cancers, no specific study has looked at uh, Black men or men from any other racial and ethnic group. Let me provide some kind of a, the, a biological plausibility. We, we have seen that the prevalence of testosterone deficiency and diabetes has increased dramatically. Uh, consequently, the treatment for these comorbidities, uh, testosterone re replacement therapy and metformin use has also increased. Also, some studies have shown a biological interaction between low levels of testosterone and high risk of diabetes. Now, some information about uh, the data, the data source, and the study cohorts. We conducted a retrospective cohort study, and we capitalized on the surveillance epidemiology and end results CIR Medicare 2007-2015. Uh, As you can see, we included men who were older than 65 years old and with at least one year of continuous enrollment in Part D. Our exposures who were men who, uh, who used testosterone therapy at menformin, uh, uh, we, we excluded those men who were younger than 65 years old, or if they had less than six months of uh, continuous uh, part A and B enrollment prior to the index date, or if the index date was less than six months prior to hormone-associated cancer diagnosis. Now, for the unexposed subjects, we also use a similar criteria. And as you can see, unexposed subjects were at least 65 years old and had at least six months of par A and uh, par B enrollment uh, anytime during the study period from the pool of eligible MASH controls. As you can see, we were able to match one case with uh, four controls uh, unexposed based on the matching was based on birth year with the unexposed group and were assigned the same index date as their match. 
Now, it's very important to clarify that we use pre-diagnostic use of metformin and testosterone therapy. Now, uh, as you can see, patients who use both testosterone therapy and formin at least six months between the latter of the two days and uh, hormone associated diagnosis was required. Now, testosterone therapy was defined just no, metformin just no, and the combination of these two medication created four, four groups. As you can see, the reference group was those men who did not take testosterone therapy and who did not use uh, metformin. And the, in, in the other groups, the exposure groups uh, in this last one was testosterone therapy plus metformin use. The hormone associated uh, uh, cancer endpoints, as you can see, we, we use incident hormone associated cancers, high grade advanced stage, and also the hormone associated cancer mortality. Now, this flowchart is just to show you the number of, uh, of cases that we had men with testosterone therapy and metformin and cancer, and the total number of men without those medications um, that, we, that we are investigating. Now, in this first table of result, as you can see, we're looking at the overall population, all the men included in this study. And in this table, you can see the incidence of hormone-associated cancers. And we're looking first at metformin, then we have testosterone therapy, and then we have a combination. But as you can see, the independent effect of metformin reduced the incidence of the hormone-associated cancer same thing with testosterone therapy, but very interestingly, the combination of these two medication had a greater reduced effect of the incidence of hormone associated cancer, as you can see here. When we look at the uh, high grade of hormone associated cancer, it was very similar. Uh, it was a reduced uh, effect with metformin reduce effect with testosterone therapy. But when these two medications were combined, we were able to see a much greater reduced effect of the, of the um, high grade hormone associated cancer. Same story with advanced stage. As you can see here, we, we can see a much greater reduced effect with those two medications combined than when they are independent uh, focusing on the advanced stage of the hormone associated cancer. Very interestingly, we did not find any significant association with a hormone associated cancer mortality. When we focus only with prostate cancer, as you can see, the story or the pattern is very similar. Yes, we found that metformin reduced the incidence of prostate cancer, very similar effect with testosterone therapy. But with the, with the, when these two medications were together, the uh, reduction effect was much greater than the independent associations. Same story with high grade, much greater effect with those two uh, uh, medications combined. Same story with advanced stage, but also no associations with prostate cancer mortality. When we look at only, only colorectal cancer, as you can see, the story is very similar. Metformin reduced the incidence of colorectal cancer. Also, testosterone therapy reduced the risk of colorectal cancer. But when those two medications were together, the reduction effect was much greater and also was significant. However, with high grade, we only found a significant association with metformin, but nothing with testosterone therapy and also nothing with the combination of these two medications. Also, no associations were significant with the advanced stage and also no association with colorectal cancer mortality. 
Now, for male breast cancer, it was very interesting because we found no association at all in any of the uh, uh, independent or joint associations, possibly for the, uh, this was due for the small sample size with male breast cancer. Now, in this nest table, we stratify those association among white and black men. And this, and this table only shows those as, uh, associations with hormone associated cancers because of the bigger sample size. But as you can see, among white men and only focusing on the, on the joint association, you can see that among white men, the, uh, the joint effect is very similar with incident hormone associated cancer, a, an inverse association, very similar with a high grade, and also very similar with advanced stage. With black men, the pattern was the same. The incidence of the hormone associated cancer was, was reduced for the, for the incidence, uh, also for the uh, high grade, and also for the advanced stage of hormone associated cancer. So as you can see in both black men and white men, we see the same reduction effect with uh, on, on hormone associated cancers. Based on this, these findings, we can say that the pre-diagnostic use of testosterone therapy and metformin independent or in combination, the, they, they were inversely associated with incidence, with the uh, high grade and advanced stage of hormone associated cancers. Now, similar associations were observed when we only look specifically with prostate cancer and colorectal cancer, but no association at all with male breast cancer, once again, possibly for the smaller sample size. Also, we can say that in general, the uh, joint association of metformin and testosterone therapy show a greater reduced effect on the hormone associated cancer incidence, high grade and advanced stage than when we look at the independent effects of testosterone therapy and uh, metformin. Now, we still need uh, or we still suggest that future studies should focus and in including a bigger sample size of minority populations or underserved and understudied populations so that we are able to confirm these this associations. I would like to uh, thank and acknowledge all the co-investigators who participated in this study, otherwise this study wouldn't be able to be completed. Uh, but once again, thank you, Remark, for the opportunity, and also thanks all of you for attending this presentation. Um, thank you. Thank you very much.